Here to help us channel Big Bo energy is Tanya Tanello. <laughs> All right, TT, bows are having a massive moment right now. They really are, Tracy. Honestly, they're popping up everywhere. We saw them all over the spring-summer runway. And then even most recently at the Golden Globe Awards, we saw them on Al Fanning, on Amanda Seyfried, and on Cheryl Lee Ralph. Yes. So every, all of them looked absolutely stunning. And what I love about this trend is it's that return to ultra-femininity. Mm -hmm. And I know there's a lot of commentary around this trend. Some love it, some aren't sure, some hate it. Yeah. But I think just like with any trend, if you love it, lean into it. If you don't, that's okay, it's not for everyone. Mm -hmm. And then today, in case you're curious about the trend, I'd love to show ways to incorporate, incorporate it without looking like a present. Right. In more subtle ways, or you know, there's ways that we could do this without being like super out there. I can think of a lot of words to describe your look. Subtle wouldn't be one. <laughs> <laughs> this is so gorgeous though, and you've done bows so beautiful. And I said to the audience, I am on the fence about bows, right. but the fashions you're going to see that you've pulled together, TT, are actually going to get people, I think, to lean into the trend. You've done a really good job with this. Thank you. But let's start with this gorgeous gown. Thank you so much. So this is by a Canadian brand called Affie Bryant. Okay. Female owned, I know we're celebrating um, International Women's Day today. Yeah. All made in Canada. Oh, nice. And with the Oscars coming up in a couple of days, I really wanted to do a red carpet look. Yes. And we're seeing, so this year we're seeing that softer pink it's pretty. Millennial pink or ballet pink as it's called. Yeah. And I think on the runway, or sorry, not on the runway, on the red carpet, we're going to see a lot of slits. You know, that yeah. Angelina Jolie moment. Yes. Asymmetrical necklines. And as we mentioned, so the bow is on the shoulder here and it's right. dripping down. And actually the drip is very reminiscent of this fabric in this metallic pink here. Mm. It is so. the iridescent perfection. Right. And I feel like my shoes are a nod to your gown. We had this like, matching moment on. without knowing. Yes, I love it. It's perfect. Thank okay, you. So beautiful on the shoulder. We're going to show you other ways to really rock those bows. Let's bring out Shay Lynn making bows cool and casual. So absolutely. So we can do bows in a more casual look. It doesn't always yes. have to be very elevated. Uh -huh. So the emphasis here for the bow is in the cardigan. This so one, cute. isn't it adorable? Yes. This one is from Revolve. I love that the bow is fastening the cardigan and it's not the traditional button. Yeah. And actually speaking about International Women's Day, uh, fun fact, the colors of the day are actually green, purple, and white. So I chose this cardigan to celebrate the day in these colors. And I paired it with a tank underneath from Dynamite. The straight leg, high-waisted denim, really classic. These are from The Gap. Mm -hmm. And then you mentioned off the top, bows from head to toe. Yes. Well, these uh, ballet flats, which are very much in for spring, summer, these are from Linterval. Nice. Canadian company out of Montreal co-female uh, founded. Mm -hmm. And then last but not least, I finished it with this neutral bag. So this bag and all the ones that we're gonna see today are from another Canadian brand, Lambert. Yes. Female founded, um, vegan, leather, mm -hmm. you know, cruelty free, and really a lot of versatility with their bags. Absolutely gorgeous. I would never put together a look like that for myself, but I want to. That's how you look like walking down the Champs Elysees in Paris. Yes. You know what I mean? Yeah. So or you Toronto. should do that. Or Toronto. Mm -hmm. Or wherever you are. Yeah. yeah. I want you to do that and bring me back a baguette. Please yeah. give, it th <laughs> give it up for Shaylin. You look great. Thank you. Thank you so much. It's so good. Okay, next is Lori. Uh, come on out, Lori, and let's talk a little bit about this beautiful look. Uh, Girl, so, love lovely it. Lori here. We have a date night look. Yes. And I wanted to go a little spicy, a little sexy, a little sultry with mm -hmm. this look. So, you know, we've spoke at length about slip dresses mm -hmm. and, you know, how it's a wardrobe staple. And I've talked in the past about layering something underneath a slip dress. Yep. You can even make it work appropriate with a turtleneck, something body hugging. Mm -hmm. But here I wanted to play with something layered over top. And so this beautiful piece, which I'm calling a beaded caged tank. Right. Yep. Whatever the name would be, right. it's perfect. I would love a piece like that in it's my wardrobe. It's super fun. So this is from Urban Outfitters. Nice. And of course, I'm styling it in a more elevated way yeah. today. And the bow, actually, it can come undone, so you could just leave it hanging. But I just did it in these bows on either yeah. shoulder. Um, but we can also pare this down. Even, this, even though this looks like a really elevated piece, we could put a white t-shirt underneath, pair it with jeans, loafers, and now we've dressed it down. Absolutely. And um, the heels are from Linterval, 
And also, head to toe, we have little bow earrings, actually. Oh, those are so cute. Aren't they adorable? Yeah, I don't know for, oh, there we go. That is so gorgeous. And you know what, you've done it in a way where she doesn't know that, she doesn't look like she's heading into grade three. Thank you. You know what I mean? Exactly. Like, we're we're mature and we're women and you can rock a bow. And for make sure. it look very sophisticated. Lori, thank you. I love sure. that. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> love it. Okay, here is Ash uh, making bows business. Okay, because you can wear your bow to work too. That's right, Very so nice. we have big bow energy yes. in the workplace with this look. So we have a boss bow look. Yes. And I have to start with this beautiful statement bow skirt. This is from Kate Spade who does bows very well. Mm -hmm. And I went with a monochromatic look um, for this work look and so I paired it with uh, a thicker tank strap um, underneath and then layer the sheer top on top. What I love about this detail, Tracy, is that the neckline is a little bit more opaque. Right. So then we're kind of seeing that a little bit of black color blocking almost. Yeah. Um, and then I wanted to keep the silhouette really tight on top so that the statement is the bow through the center. Uh huh. And then we have the tote bag, again from Lambert, which fits all of the things, including the laptop and water and, you know, it's just gonna, it's gonna fit everything. And the baguette that I mentioned earlier. And the baguette, earlier, of course. Right? <laughs> and then last but not least, so we really went to town with the bows on this look. It's bows yes. on bows on bows. So we have bow detail through the hosiery. Oh, that's cute. These are from Amazon. It's pretty. And then the footwear again, so a block heel, super appropriate for the workplace. Patent leather is a nice mix with all black, so we get some more texture and interest. Mm -hmm. And this might be too much for some, so I respect that, but I just clipped some little bows on the shoe. So these are clip-on bows nice. from Amazon. So you could take those off and then do a little less of the bow trend for this look. But the thing that makes it all work, I think, is that it's black on black on black on black. So you yes. had fun with the bows, but you kept it all monochromatic, and it's absolutely gorgeous. That's right. Thank, Thank you. you.